Okay, right? We've been doing a lot of different things with observation. Observation deals with our five senses. Who can give me one of them? Izzy. Seeing, what's another one? James. Hearing, what's another one? Adrian. Feeling, what's another one? Tasting, and what's the last one? Smell. We just smell. We use this. Touching, right? Or feeling. Okay? Those are our five different senses. Now, today, we're going to do two experiments. I'm going to actually do two experiments for you guys to see. Okay? We will not talk. Okay? This is an observation that is done only with your eyes. You and your partner can share thoughts. Okay? Open up your journal. This is going to be your science journal. For the first page. Ms. Davis is flashing the sharing with the sharing mind. That's why he partnered up. Okay? Now listen. Again, listen. This is not something that we will discuss verbally, okay? You and your partner are going to make observations. I don't want you sharing them with anybody right now. I want to see how many of us come up with the same observation. Okay? Got it? Okay? We're not going to say anything. We're just going to make observations and see that how much of this we, and how many things we can come up with that are similar based on what we see. So in your journal, what you're going to write down is anything you and your partner observe. It could be what it is, what's happening, little things like that. Okay? Anything that you can use your sight to see. Okay? Anything that you guys can see. Okay? That's okay. You can work right there. But once the beat guys are going to come. Okay? So, no talking, remember. We're not going to share it. Then we're going to clear everything on the board that we have. I want to see how many of this stuff overlap. Okay, Cooper? You and your partner, yes? Okay, so we have. Don't say what it is. Okay? See if you guys can figure out what this is. Don't say anything. Write it down. Yep, it's all using your eyes. Most of you know what the cup's for because you guys have seen stuff like this. Okay? You and your partner, discuss it amongst yourselves and write down what you see here. Okay? What do you know about what you see here? You're not supposed to see anything. On your observations. Write down your observations. Got it, I'm over here. Write down your observations. Okay? We'll get you now. Don't 
Good. Now, I got a question. Okay, listen up. Did at any point in time I say this was a candle? No. I didn't, did I? But, raise your hand based on you making your observation. You wrote down candle in your journal or you were thinking candle. Be honest. Okay? How many people thought it was a candle based on what you saw, right? I did. But you were thinking it though, right? Because we've seen candles that look like this before. It's just a little cup to the wax doesn't run down, right? So we stuck in there. Looks just like a white candle, right? Didn't we, didn't, we light the, didn't we light the top of it? The top of it wasn't a wick. The top of it was one of these. Ready? The top of it was one of these. Almond. Okay? So, was it ever a candle? No. But, when we were observing it, based on just everything that we've ever seen, okay, be it if we went and we saw some at a church, or if we saw somebody out in the real world, we saw maybe a TV show, somebody was holding something like this, the first observation that came to our mind was candle, right? Yeah. And then I lit it, and then, as soon as I lit it, now you were like, yeah, it's got to be a candle. Okay, because we did everything we would normally do with a candle, right? But then, when I blew it out, did, did it give all the smoke like a candle does? Yeah. Everything was identical to a candle, except for when I did what? Yeah. Eat it. Now, I heard some of you, most of you were freaking out, first off, like, oh, what are you doing? You're supposed to eat candles, okay? But then I heard some of you, yeah. guess what happened? As soon as you saw me take a bite, then you started thinking in your head, okay, you were making observations in your head, what looks like a candle but could be food. And most of you guys said what? Cheese stick, right? Now, if I had one of those cheese sticks that was orange and white, it would have given it away, right? Because observation, you've seen it, you guys know, hey, this is what a cheese stick looks like. But I got all, right, I got all mozzarella, so it looks just like a plain white candle. Everything that we had ever seen, okay? That's the cool thing in science, okay? What I'm doing to show you is, in science, you make observations, but sometimes our observations are wrong. The cool thing about science is it's okay to be wrong, okay? There's a thing called a hypothesis. The hypothesis is you're making a prediction on what the outcome or the result of your experiment's going to be, okay? But sometimes our hypothesis is wrong. Guess what? That's science, okay? When you made that first observation of it being a candle, that was fine. You made a prediction that it was a candle, right? But then as soon as Mr. Williams took a bite of it, he changed it, and he thought, hey, what inside of my head do I believe looks like this candle? And we got cheese sticks, and you were freaked out first, right? And you're like, whoa, now I got to go to the doctor. Go to the okay? So raise your hand, and give me some of your first observations, what you're talking about. Raise your hand. Okay, can you give me one word? Candle. candle. Raise your hand if you have candle on your paper. Good. What's another one? Raise your hand. Uh, let's go eight. What's one of yours, bud? That was your very first thought. That was afterwards, right? What was one of the very first things you guys saw? Candle or something else, did you? Okay, so the start you may have thought it was a piece of cheese. And it's true because you guys... Sometimes the animal looks like cheese, doesn't it? Yeah. Right? What's something else? Uh, cheese sticks. Cheese yeah. sticks? In a cup? Good. What was the cup? Now think about it. When I put the cup on... Thank you. Why would I put this cup here, Cooper? Why? So the wax wouldn't run down on my hand. So again, I'm just trying to see if... I'm trying to trick you by putting this on here making me think... Well, some of this stuff's got to run down because what do we know based on our observations? We light a candle, what runs down? Wax. Wax, right? So you were seeing in your head after I lit the candle, wax was running down. You just automatically thought that, right? Because that's a natural thing that, wax, that candles do. So again, this is where your observation skills are awesome because you guys use some of your uh, prior knowledge to try to figure it out. Think about the UVB. 
We did it after everybody else did it, right? We were the last class to do it. You were using your knowledge of seeing the other class leave, right, to know what? They're going to do what, Leah? Change colors. But then I told you what? What did I tell you about the bees? Some could change, some can't. And I told you they may not be the same bees, right? So now in your head you have one, the UV bees that are in your head, and number two, you have a regular white bead in your head. So now you're like, hmm, I'm not too sure which one it is. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you another really cool trick. Okay? But, don't laugh. Okay? Don't laugh at it. Just wait. Just wait. Okay? The girls, I need you to come up here quick. You're going to make, hey, listen, you're just going to write down your observations. Okay, so Miss Rose so she has a half cup of water here. Right? Now listen. No talking. You only make observations. Right down with the seat. You saw Miss Rose do everything. Okay? Just write down what you see here. Okay? And this is the proof to you guys that it's just water, okay? I'll pour it into another cup so you can see it. It does run out. There's nothing in that cup that this throws at. Okay? So write down your observations. Right. What is it? Just write down what you see. Okay. Write it down. What else do you see? Now, what if I do this?